Oh, we have. Yay. We're going to try it out today. Yeah, since Pete, you're cooking gonna... and it's going to be hot in the kitchen. Exactly. We'll Pete, can I put you on assembly, mm -hmm. please? And we'll try it out and see how it works. Welcome back to Parsons and Parsimony. The girls and I are working on making a strawberry rhubarb jello jam. You guys know this is my mom's famous recipe that she has been making since I was a little kid. It has not been tested for safety. I can tell you we've been making it for years. If you're interested in trying it, the recipe is over on my website, parsnipsandparsimony.com. I will put the link for it down in the description. And if you're not comfortable with trying out a recipe that hasn't been um, tested for safety, don't try this recipe. <laughs> but we've been having it for years. It is Delicious. wonderful. It is peak rhubarb season and I was determined this was going to be the year I was going to use more of my rhubarb. Lydia wants to do some smell-o-vision, although I don't know if it smells good yet. We haven't cooked it. We chopped this up it the other like night, it added good. sugar to it, and it sat overnight. Now we're going to do the cooking process. You girls have been very I, helpful. I think it smells pretty And we good. are going to finish it up and can it. You guys ready? Yeah. Can you smell it? Well, I can smell what I can smell right now. And in the meantime, we got something in the mail today, which I'm excited about, especially in a hot kitchen. Oh, what's in there? So that's the stand. Is that the stand? Okay. The stand is metal too. Good. Did anybody find the instructions yet? No. It can't be too hard to put together. <laughs> okay, Open. don't lose it's this. Look through it. See through it. Paris and Brown contacted me and asked me if I would like to try out one of their fans, and I said, absolutely. We have a hot kitchen with all the canning, the cooking, and I thought this would be a really helpful item in our home. So we are testing it out to see how we like it. I will put the link for it down in the description. It has two little blades? Yeah, I don't know what that one's from. Wow. Plus we need to put these in there. That's what I call it, easy assembly meter. Yeah. Gone are the days of the nuts and bolts. <laughs> okay, we just realized we assembled it incorrectly because we weren't reading the instructions. I knew it! Classic. Hang on a second, Lydia. We've got to take it apart and then we will put it back together. We fixed it up, got it the right way now, and it will be very handy this summer. Pull the battery tab and... It works now. Works. Oh, it rotates? Yeah. Yes. And then you, you can turn it off. Whoa! Feel that. See? Nice. Eco friendly sleep time and just uh, this is six. Well, you All right. Have it. Look. Well, let's give it a shot. Time 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 time. So it's got a clicker and the buttons, the controls right there. Right. <laughs> How's right it feel, Peter? Good. Pretty good. good. Yeah. Now I'm cold. All right, girls, let's get this jelly made. And Lily is wrapping something up for Grandpa. What did you make? Some snowflakes. Very nice. Can you please put some water in that? We're going to put the canning rings and lids in that to sterilize that. And then I'm going to have you put the jet, um, water in the canner. And we're going to get that going. This does not take long. It's just getting everything assembled so it moves quickly. And in this case, <laughs> it takes a little while to get everything assembled. Okay, put that on the stove, please. Right on the back burner if you can. We just made some lactation bars for poor Hannah because she, well, she had her three month growth spurt and she eats that. all the time. So, I'm doing everything I can to boost my milk supply for her, but we need to get rings and lids and the lids are over here. Mary in the box and we're going to need, I think dad said he brought up four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 17. So do about 17 rings, lids and rings. I don't know if we, did he bring up the rings? Okay, so we have to get those downstairs. And what are you doing, Grace? I'm washing this all out. That's good, thank you. That's a good job to do. Put them in, try to space them out a little bit so they don't all stick together. And I'm going to bring the rhubarb, hi John the rhubarb and the sugar mixture and the pineapple that have been sitting in the pot. We're gonna bring it up to a boil and then once it's boiling, we'll cook it for 20 minutes. I'll add the jello after that point. But right now we're just bringing that up to a boil. Mary, you can go ahead and turn the lids. 
Okay, put the lids into low and I'm gonna get the jars starting to sterilize. If you're new to canning, this is the water bath technique. So pretty much any really large canning pot will work. That's perfect, Mary, thank you. We'll turn that on, there we go. This, you can see this is a pretty large canning pot. They make bigger ones than this. I am only doing pints today. Mary, could you fill that up with halfway with water? Just about halfway because those jars are gonna fill them up. And you can buy any of these kits on Amazon because you'll need, along with this, the jar lifters, which I didn't pull out, but you'll want a funnel. And then these, this is just a magnet, and that'll help get those rings out of the boiling water. Again, you can find a lot of this stuff at garage sales. Sometimes you can find them at thrift shops and estate sales, or you can just get it off of Amazon or maybe your even local hardware store. But those are the things you'll need for making this jelly today. There, there, goes, the there goes Mrs. Grossbeak. I'm trying not to scare him. Mr. Mr. Grossbeak is right on the other side of the feeder. She just went flying off. Oh, there he is. Sometimes he comes to the window. Well, it looks like, John, we got to put more feet out there. Isn't it pretty? Oh, is there a morning dove down on the ground, too? Yes. Let's see. Where, where is she? Where is she? Oh, there, yep, there's a chipmunk. And that's fine. Mr. Chippy can eat all he wants down there. As long as it ain't the plants. And then there's the morning dove. They love the garden here. You're feeling for cracks, kiddo. Don't feel any good. That's good. So when you're doing buying canning jars and you're canning with them, you want to make sure they are really canning jars yeah, and they don't have any cracks in them. And then just if you've used them before, you're going to run your finger around the top and you're just feeling for chips or cracks, anything that would keep this from sealing. Now see this one doesn't have, this one I think is a jelly jar because it doesn't have any symbol that it's actually a canning jar. Like this one says Metro Mason jar and this one has absolutely nothing. So I'm not going to use this one. That one's good for just decorating, canning things and putting things on your shelf. Yeah, this, well, it would fit, but it's not, it's not really made for home canning. Okay, so there, those are good. We're going to take these, and I put, Mary filled up, woo, trying to show you guys there. <laughs> Mary filled up the pot halfway with water. So Mary, we're just going to turn them on their sides, like that, and put them in. Okay, if it didn't get washed, it's got to get washed. And we'll add the jello after it's boiled for 20 minutes. I-T-E. I fit 10 in there. We're going to just top this off so they're completely submerged. And then just let um, put the lid on it and let this get up to a boil before we use them to make the jelly. If you've never canned before, it's not a big scary ordeal. It's actually very easy to do. You just really want to make sure you use proper techniques. So making sure your equipment is sterilized when it needs to be sterilized and you're keeping everything as clean as you can. That's what I'm trying to teach the girls. The best thing I can recommend is getting a canning book. One of the books that I recommend is So Easy to Preserve. This is by the Co Cooperative Extension from the University of Georgia. This was recommended from my extension office and local master canner. And she said this is the book she cannot live without. This is what I use for my taco sauce and a bunch of my recipes. It comes in and out of stock periodically. Last I knew it was in stock, so I will put that link in the description, but you may if you don't have it and it is available, I suggest snagging it now because it does seem to go out of stock as the summer rolls along, but it's called So Easy to Preserve, not sponsored. This is just what was recommended to me and I've been really happy with it. It is getting hot in here. I am really, really glad for that fan. Oh yes, that's plenty. We got that all covered. We just have to get the lid for it, kiddo. Go ahead and put that right on top there. Okay, and Mary, if you want to keep stirring this, we have to get this up to boiling and then we'll start the timer for 20 minutes. Did you know? Thank you. What's that? What do you know? I accidentally whacked this on the table. Uh, it's 
made the, a little of the stuff oh, come off and oops. it was red. Are you all right? Grandma, don't watch this. Oh, gra Grandma won't mind that little bit of blood. That's okay. I should probably put a bandage on this in case it all the entire thing was blood. There you go. Okay, we're boiling. Let's see. We need 20 minutes. And let this go. There we go. Countdown begins. I managed to feed Hannah while the rhubarb was cooking. So thankful for helpers who can do that in the kitchen. That fan is strong. It's putting hair in my eyes. Boxes of jello, we've got them all open. This is a double batch, so I'm using four of the standard three ounce size boxes. And we've got three three minutes left and then we're going to add the jello to that bring it up to a boil and this is gonna happen really fast so I'm just gonna probably put the camera here you guys are gonna watch this that's why I'm explaining it now we're wow, gonna I add the jello then the we're gonna bring coming. yeah there's a lot of steam we're gonna bring it back up to a boil and once it's boiling we're gonna boil for one minute and once we do that it's done and we start putting it into the sterilized canning jars any questions leave comments below <laughs> i will answer them for you guys it's not hard you just need to keep moving okay let's turn that off hit the stop button yeah and we're going to start adding the packages of jello Okay, you need to tell me as soon as it starts boiling, we're going to set the timer for one minute. And what are we going to do then? Start the entire time. So it's boiling. You set oh, the right, timer for one keep minute. Stirring keep stirring it. And then we'll start putting it in the jars. Your job is going to be wipe off the rims. Well, the... After the soap. Right. Okay. This is yours. For this, you want to leave a little bit of a head space. It's right to the bottom of the neck. So you can see, yeah. I filled it right up to there. Do you need that if, thing if That gives you, you guys a better a idea. So this is all done. This is filled up. I'm going to take this off. I dribbled there. So Lydia has the paper towel. She's going to wipe this clean. And then we're going to put a sterile lid on top of this with a ring and then we're going to fill up the next jars. Once we have them all done, that's when we'll start processing them in the water bath. Are you going to take a fan? Yeah, I'm going to take that off. You're going to put that on top of there. We're only worried about the top and the inside. So you're just taking that around like that. Okay. And then Mary, get a, go ahead, get a, did you get one? All right. Please. Magnet, ring, don't touch anything. Put it right on top of Put it right on top there, like that. You can touch the top, that's fine. Okay, and go hot. ahead and get it. it. It cools down real fast. Put the ring on it. There you go. And for screwing this in, we're not going to put it on super tight. Just kind of like that. That's probably good. Okay, that's one jar done. We're going to do that with the rest. Right, so we got the next one out. Mary, grab another. And are you armed with your paper towel? Yes. I'm armed with a paper towel. Okay, hang on a second. I'll get my next one out. Just a second, Mary. Okay, and you just try to not touch the top. Put that right in there. Good. Wipe the rim. I'll put this on and touch it. Uh, why isn't it very red? It, different oh. jellos do different brands. I bet Grandma used jello brand. Oh, 
You can touch the top. That's fine. Um, Put the last ring on it. There's one more. And how many did we get? Eight or nine? Um, nine. Nine. And Hannah is eagerly waiting for mommy again. <laughs> is there any more? Yes, mommy. Um, yes, we didn't use this jar. We're going to empty it out and get this water up to boiling and we'll can them. Okay, we have to wait for this to boil in Turn it 10 off. minutes. And now the best part, we get to scrape out the pans and we're gonna have jelly and crackers. How's that sound, girls? Yes. Do you wanna try some of our jelly? Not sure. I think it's pretty good. Uh -huh. Thumbs up. Yep. Hi, Hannah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs>